Hello everybody, welcome to instrumentation training channel. In my previous video I discussed regarding humidity, its principle and different sensing methods. Link for this is given in the description below. Now in today's video I am gonna discuss sample instrumentation interview question and answers that can be asked by a famous company called Babco that is Bahrain Petroleum Company which is very useful for instrument technicians, instrument fitters as well as instrument engineers for attending any interviews. So before going into interview questions we will know a little bit about this company. Babco is a unique company which has never stood still. The first to discover oil in Arabian Peninsula in 1932. It started exploring in 1934 and refining in 1936. Since then the company has helped to shape the modern kingdom of Bahrain not simply through the generation of wealth but through the development of Bahrain's manpower. More than 80 years after the company establishment, new ambitions in exploration and new initiatives in oil and gas field development and new global markets continue to open up with rapid advancement taking place in the company, wholly owned by the government of Bahrain. Babco is engaged in oil industry including refining, distribution of petroleum products and natural gas, sales and exports of crude oil and refined products. The company owns a 2,64,000 barrel a day refinery storage facilities for more than 14 million barrels a marketing terminal and a marine terminal for its petroleum products. 95% of the company's refined products are exports. Babco is primarily engaged with exploration, refining, storage, production, marketing, training and development and environmental initiatives in the kingdom. Babco is on the verge of major refining expansion project which aims to produce high value products with a long term future in mind as well as care for the environment and better efficiency. Our prime customer for crude oil and refined products based in the Middle East, India, the Far East, Southeast Asia and Africa. Now we will go through the instrumentation interview question and answers and the first one what is solenoid valve and where it is used a solenoid valve is an electronically operated valve it consists of solenoid coil in which magnetic plunger moves the plunger is connected to the plug and tends to move to open or close the valve generally there are two types of solenoid valves normally open and normally closed and it is used for safety purpose in different electric work. Explain ratio control system. A ratio control system is characterized by the fact that variations in the secondary variable don't reflect back on primary variable. A ratio control system is the system where secondary flow is held in some proportion to a primary uncontrollable flow. What is loop folder? A loop folder is a manila folder or an electronic folder that contains an assortment of documents related to the instrumentation for a specific process control loop. And the next one, what is Zenar barrier? Zenar barrier is safety barrier for hazards area for current limiter or voltage limiter. Next one. Explain failsafe feature in temperature measurement. The failsafe feature in temperature measurement uses some means to detect an open circuit in the sensor input wiring. An open circuit could be a broken wire, loose connection or a failed sensor. Should an open circuit be detected, the output signal representing temperature will drive either full scale up usually to the value higher than 20.0 milliamps or full scale down to the value lower than 4.0 milliamps in order to flag alarm or indicate a failed input circuit. Next, what is motion balance principle? 
a controller which generates an output signal by motion of its parts the increase in the baffle is to move towards the nozzle the nozzle back pressure will increase this increase in the back pressure acting on the balance bellows will expand the bellows the nozzle is moved upward due to this the nozzle will move until motion almost equals the input baffle motion and the next one what is force balance principle state some of the advantages a controller which generates an output signal by opposing torque the input force is applied on the input bellows which moves the beam the crackless nozzle back pressure the nozzle back pressure is sensed by balancing bellows which brings the beam to balance the baffle moment is very less about 0.002 for full scale output and its advantages moving parts are fewer baffle moment is negligible frictional losses are less that's it and the next one what is intrinsically safe system intrinsically safety is a technique for designing electrical equipment for safe use in locations made hazardous by the presence of flammable gas or vapors in the air intrinsically safe circuit is one in which any spark or thermal effect produced either normally or under specified fault conditions is incapable of causing ignition of a specified gas or vapor in air mixture at the most ignited concentration and the next one name different types of borden tubes c type spiral helix now what are primary elements of measuring pressure primary elements of measuring pressure are borden tube diaphragm capsule bellows and pressure springs and what are the different types of control valves the commonly used control valves can be defined as follows depending on action there are two types of control valves air to close air to open depending on body there are four types of control valves globe valve single or double seated angle valves butterfly valves three way valves and the next one what is corrective maintenance a corrective maintenance is a maintenance task performed to identify isolate and rectify a fault so that the failed equipment machine or system can be restored to an operational condition within the tolerances or limits established for in service operations what is the use of valve positioner valve positioner can be used for following reasons quick action valve hysteresis viscous liquids split trench line pressure changes on valve bench set not standard reverse valve operation and the next one what is preventive maintenance the care in servicing by personnel for the purpose of maintaining equipment and facilities in satisfactory operating condition by providing for systematic inspection detection and correction of incident failures either before they occur or before they develop into major defects maintenance including tests measurements adjustments and parts replacement performed specifically to prevent faults from occurring what is the use of double seated wall in double seated walls the upward and downward forces on the plug due to reduction of fluid pressure are nearly equalized it is generally used on bigger size walls and high pressure system actuator forces required are less and the next one what is the use of single seated valve in single seated valve is used on smaller sizes where an absolute shut off is required the use of single seated valve is limited by pressure drop and across the valve in the closed or almost closed position now the next one how would you choose differential range 
the most common range for differential range for liquid measurement is 0 to 100. This range is high enough to minimize the errors caused by unequal heads in sealed chambers. It is also dependent on differences in the temperature of load lines. The 100 range permits an increase in capacity up to 400, while decreased down up to 20 by merely changing the range tubes or range adjustments. And the next one, explain the mechanism behind turbine meter. Turbine meter consists of straight flow tube within which a turbine or fan is free to rotate about its axis which is fixed along the center line of the tube. Mostly a magnetic pickup system senses the rotation of the rotor through the tube walls. The turbine meter is a flow rate device. Since the rotor speed is directly proportional to the flow rate, the output is usually in the form of electric pulses from the magnetic pickup with frequency proportional to flow rate. And now the second next one. What is the working principle of magnetic meter? An electric potential is developed when a conductor is moved across the magnetic field. In most electrical machinery, the conductor is a wire. The principle is equally applicable to a moving electrically conductive liquid. And the next one, explain the working of rotameter. Rotameter is also called as a variable area meters, or specially form of head meters, where in the area of flow restrictor is varied so as to hold the differential pressure constant. The rotameter consists of a vertical tapered tube through which the metered fluid flows in upward direction. As the flow varies, the flow rises or falls to vary the area of passages that the differential across it balances the gravitational force on the float. The differential pressure is maintained constant. The position of the float is the measure of the rate of the fluid. And the next one. Why thermowells are used? What materials are used in thermowells? In numerous applications, it is neither desirable nor practical to expose a them temperature sensor directly to a material. Wells are therefore used to protect against damage, corrosion, erosion, abortion and high pressure processes. A thermowell is used in protecting a sensor from physical damage during handling and normal operations. Material used in thermowells, stainless steel, inconal, monal, alloy steel, hashed alloy. Next one. How DP transmitter can be connected to a open tank. A open tank, the lower pressure is vented to the atmosphere. All pressure is applied to high pressure site. The vessel pressure is measured through high pressure site. Please comment in the comment section for any video suggestions. Anyways, thanks for watching. We will meet again in another basic instrumentation video. Please like, share, subscribe. Also, don't forget to click on bell icon for receiving more interesting updates.